Man United's Carrington training ground will be turned into potato farm if war breaks out due to legal clause. Manchester United's training ground will be turned into a potato farm if war breaks out thanks to an incredible legal clause. Legendary Old Trafford manager Sir Alex Ferguson has revealed the remarkable story of Carrington in a recent interview. The ex-United boss, 79, told the United podcast about overseeing the 2000 move from the Cliff training ground to what is now called the Anne training complex. And Fergie revealed a host of bizarre clauses inserted in the paperwork to buy the land, including leaving areas untouched for Canadian geese and voles, as well as the bizarre potato farm scenario. Ferguson recalled, The cliff was great when I first came, but then the club grew. We had to put an extension in the indoor place for the boys to dress because we had no space in the actual building. So, then I started to wander around Manchester looking for a piece of ground that we could build a new training ground on. We're hunting everywhere, in North Manchester in particular. Betting special, get 31 on Fury or 51 on Wilder for heavyweight boxing clash, former chief scout and academy director, Les Kershaw came to me, and his friend worked for Shell. He said Shell are trying to sell some of their ground over at Carrington, so we went to see. The size of the land we were getting, I think it was 28 acres or something, but there were restrictions which I can't understand today. Fergie explained, part of the restrictions were, in the event of war we had to turn the ground into potato fields. And, up at the very end, there had to be an acre, or two acres for Canadian geese. Here is Man United's all-time potatoes I, they'd give anyone a roasting. Mr. Potato Edwin Van Der Sar Aaron Juan Basaka Spuds Duncan King Edwards Jacket Blanche Flo Ray Wilskins for Potatoes Bruno Fernand Desiree Fryan Giggs Wayne Rooster Marcus Mashford Crispy on Ronaldo There were moats and we couldn't change them because voles were living in them we couldn't do anything really. But Ferguson hilariously added that had been completely ignored by Louis Van Gaal, who succeeded his own replacement, David Moyes, at Old Trafford. The Scot added, then I went down after I retired, and Lewis had put up floodlights and stands and everything. 